Hey guys, Ethan here, back to another video, and today we're going to be reviewing and going over Cybersoul 4.0. I already made a video reviewing the 3.0 version of the bot a while back, but a lot has changed so I've decided to bring you a more updated current review. Before we start, remember to like this video, comment your opinions or any questions, and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, check out my cook group at HastreeSocks on Twitter and HastreeSocks.io for the website for the best cook group in the industry. It's coming out really soon and I'm sure that you guys are all going to be very excited about it. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, so first I'd like to say that this video is in no way sponsored by Cybersoul or an affiliate with them. I've had this bot for 2 years and it is in my opinion hands down the best top tier bot available. So Cyber retails for $200 and it's an all in one bot which means it supports a variety of over 70 Shopify sites, Supreme, Foot sites and just a bunch of other sites all listed on their website. Cyber is updated almost every drop to improve performance and it has been running strong for a few years. It works incredibly well, and it is in fact so good that the aftermarket price of this bot is around $4,000 constantly. Now do keep in mind that the bot only retails for $200, and personally, I wouldn't recommend paying resale value just because of how big of an investment it is, but in this video, we're gonna go over how the bot works, the best settings to run, and how to use it to its max potential. Let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we have here is the dashboard, which you can go to cybersoul.io and click dashboard on the top right to get to. And you're going to have your license key hidden, which you can click this to make it visible. Uh, the bot status, so if it's online, if it's running, or if it's not online. This to reset the key. This to renew, so if you're past the expiration date, you have to pay, um, I think it's $60 every six months to renew this to download the bot and then this is for support and you can activate and deactivate the bot all from here now here you can also manage your tasks right so you can start them all stop them all um, change the link and even just start certain tasks and make quick tasks so let's say you only have access to this part and not the actual bot you can input a link like this and it'll automatically create a task for you here you can see a list of all your purchases in the past couple months. And then this is analytics, so you can see like today the successful um, checkouts, the client test, and like yeah, pretty self expensive analytics. And top right you can log in, log out, and unbind license. So now we'll get to the actual bot. This is going to be your main GUI, this is where you're going to have everything. Um, the first thing we'll go over is settings. You have your delays, uh, monitor, retry, and timeout. So monitor delays is every time you're looking for a product, it's going to refresh that amount with no issues. Retry delays is if the site is down or you get an error, it'll use this delay to retry. And timeout is let's say your proxy dies or your internet and it's on your end, it'll use that amount of delay to wait to try again. I'd recommend keeping it around 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 per drop, like one second is pretty good. And it depends on the site really. I usually tend to do 500, 200, like it, it just really depends. And I'll have a whole video out about delays and the best delays to use. But yeah, you'll be pretty good if you have them around 1,000. Keep them low. Notifications, you can enable and disable them and they'll show up like on your desktop and on your phone because there's a companion app for this. I'll talk about that and show you guys that later. Webhook, it's to send successful checkouts to your Discord. So you put in your Discord webhook, which I'll also make a video about later, speaking about what those are, and it'll send every successful checkout there. Autosolve is in a collaboration with a certain brand called ACID, I'm pretty sure, and they also have them for other brands. And essentially, it lets you solve captures faster, and it's a whole capture tool. Uh, under pack backup, you can download a backup of all your profiles, shipping rates, proxies, everything. So let's say you're switching computers, you download that, and then you restore it using um, the same button right here and you have all your info saved if you're trying to use it on a different computer. And then finally on the bottom you have check for updates which checks for the updates and if there is an update you update it, restart the bot, self explanatory. So next we have shipping rates. Shipping rates is um, in Shopify you have 
certain shipping rates per site. So one might do UPS ground in like five to seven days. Others can do free shipping 150 and up. It depends. And when you're going for a drop, it has to load the shipping rates, but Cyber lets you put them in beforehand so that it doesn't even have to load that part and it could skip that and go even faster. So I'd recommend going on your site before a drop, every site that you're running on. You go on the site, you click add shipping rates, select the store. So let's say that I'm going for a kit drop tomorrow. You put in kit, select your profile, and then put in a product URL that's around the same price and same size of the product. So let's say you're going for Jordan 1s, like let's say the purple Jordan 1s, you probably use a Jordan 1 mid or something around that same price and same size to get your shipping rate. And you click fetch, add it here, then you don't have to worry about that, it skips that. Accounts, so some Shopify sites require accounts to check out and this lets you put in a bunch of accounts so you can generate accounts using like just manually there are some tools that you can use on discord whatever click add accounts you put in email password in this format or you can import them from the file you have to keep one per line in the same format select the store and you put in the account and then it logs in for you so like for example undefeated you need to use accounts for that site Billing profile is pretty self-explanatory. It's for your credit cards. So you do create profile, put in your name, address, phone number. I'd keep one checkout per product off. Separate billing and delivery, that should most of the time be off. It's harder to cop and get sneakers when they are the same, or I mean when they are different. So keep them the same if you can. And then quick task, you'd use that on the profile you'd want to use the most and you set that up. Delivery, you put in first, last, address, city, zip code, country, and then state if it's the United States. Very self-explanatory. And then payment, your card number, your month and year expiration date, your CVV, your PayPal email, and your PayPal password. So what's really cool is that you have PayPal links. So some sites that do PayPal only, you can definitely use this to your advantage. So definitely fill those out, hit save, and you've got yourself a billing profile. You can star these, and if you star them, they'll be used for quick tasks, and we'll do a whole lot more about quick tasks soon. But for now, just star the important ones that you're gonna be using the most. Proxies, also very self-explanatory. You click add proxies, you paste in whatever format that they give you. Usually, they this proxy provider takes care of that. But if not, you have the IP, the long numbers, the port, the username, and the password. You just paste them in, add. And you can actually test these proxies by either clicking on one of them to test individually or this to test on all of them, right? And you can change the site to test on. You can buy proxies within the bot, which I would not recommend because they're data center proxies and most of the time you're gonna be wanting using um, residential proxies. And you can have multiple lists, right? So let's say I want a list of residential proxies, de dedicated proxies, whatever. You have different lists that you can use and add, delete, edit, everything. And then you'd want to heart the proxy list that you're gonna use the most, again, because that'll tie into quick tasks, right here on the top right. And clear proxies, add proxies, yeah, so explanatory. Now we have tasks. So tasks is gonna be pretty much how this entire bot works. You click create tasks to set up a task, and think of a task like a job for the bot, right? So I'd want to go for kit, right? Select size, we can do random size or select any, anything. You select the store for the item you want. And they have a lot of different stores there, a bunch. But let's say I'm going for kit, right? And I select random size because I don't care about the size. Keywords, so their keyword format is pretty much commas. So if I do Jordan one and then minus red, it's gonna pick up all the Jordan ones that don't have red. It's gonna pick up this without red. If there's red in it, it doesn't pick it up. You don't use pluses, only commas. And so, for example, for test, we're just gonna do Jordan, right? Mode, you're gonna wanna use the different modes that they recommend to you, but most of the time, you use safe preload, safe, fast two, fast one. When you're going for restocks, obviously use restock. And manual opens a separate checkout browser in another tab so that you can check out manually 
let's say it's a site like Easy Supply or like what it used to be or Travis Scott that has big issues with bots, you can use manual checkout and try and get a checkout through there. But most of the time I'm going to be using safe preload fast and fast too if they tell you to do it, safe if they tell you to do it and all this information per drop they explain exactly what modes to use and if you should use a variety of separate modes or whatever in the discord. So I'll just do safe for now. Now profiles, you select your profiles, you can set multiple and it will create one task for every profile and I'll just, I don't know, I'll use this for example. Um, proxies, you select your proxy list and what it's going to do is it's going to grab a random proxy from the list that you inputted earlier and use that in your task that you're creating. So if I want to use this, if it has zero proxies, it's, it's just going to go from your regular host. So if I use this link that has no proxies in it, it's just going to go through my browser without using a proxy. And essentially what a proxy does is it just masks your IP and makes it look like you're coming from different places to go faster and not get banned. Accounts, so for Kif it doesn't have any accounts, but let's say I had undefeated running, right? I have multiple accounts here that I can just click on and then, yep, self-explanatory, it'll log into that account for you. You can also edit the start time, right? So let's say you're going to be going for a drop at 11 a.m. or 11 p.m. You select until you see 11 p.m., right? It's a little weird, the timing, because it's in military time and it'll start exactly on that date. So if you're going to be asleep or if you just wanted to run, you can do that and schedule tasks. You click create and now you have a task. Click this to run, this to edit, and this to delete it. You can import and export tasks. So you can have, what I tend to do is I'll have a hundred tasks for undefeated and I'll create them. And then I'll export them and then import them when it comes time for the drop so that I'm saving RAM, CPU, everything. So now we have CAPTCHA which is next and this bot will pull up CAPTCHAs for you to solve and you can have different solvers for different Gmails. So what I tend to do and I recommend that you do is set up around three to five different CAPTCHA solvers and use this to add a Google account and then you could just select the Google account and it'll be automatically logged in. You go to YouTube, watch some videos before the drop, and you're good, you're gonna get one clicks. You can use proxies here to get a higher chance of one clicks, and pretty much if you don't know, a one click is you just click the captcha and you don't have to select all the different things, so it'll say select all cars, you won't have to do that. But that's what you're trying to do, and the best way to achieve that is being logged in on a good YouTube or Google account using a proxy, and also watching a few videos before the, the drop. So yeah, I'd recommend around having three to five solvers. And that's about it for the actual desktop app. Um, this you can turn on and turn off notifications. You can click that and it'll show up all your current checkouts. And yeah, so let's, let's get into the uh, mobile app. So now we are on the Cyber Soul mobile app. It's gonna be really similar to the dashboard I showed you earlier. You have your reset key button that'll reset the key so you can log in on a different um, desktop computer, whatever. Start all tasks, stop, stop all tasks. I'd recommend creating one task per proxy. That's a pretty good rule of thumb. And then these three buttons like this, 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 let you renew it, um, show the key and reset it. So then here you have a list of all your tasks and you can start and stop them. If I click start, it'll stop. Um, this lets you, whatever link that you have copied, you click this and it'll change all the tasks to that link. So let's say you're on your phone and someone sends you a link, copy, click that and you're good. This button just changes the view of it and then you can actually create tasks on your phone, which is really, really useful. Let's say you're at school just say you have to go to the bathroom, create a few tasks, and you're good to go. On the center screen, you have your CAPTCHA, which you can also solve from your phone. It'll just pull up with, I'm not a robot. You click it, you select everything, and you're good to go. And this is for your Google login that goes to your phone. There's no proxy, it just uses your phone, so LTE or Wi-Fi. Here, you have a list of all your checkouts in the past. So let's say you can see like, oh, I had Jordan 
uh, pine greens, whatever. This shows everything that I've got in the past, different views for it. And then analytics again, just like the dashboard. Attempted checkouts, successful checkouts, declined, etc. And then finally, if you're settings page where you can update your delays, activity and captcha, log out or unbind your license from the thing. And then you also have a support on the top right so if you do have any questions, you type here and you have guides. So let's say you want a guide on how quick tasks work. What is a quick task? They explain all of this and it's really, really useful. So I definitely recommend it. So yeah, let's get back to the desktop. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. And again, make sure to like this video, comment your opinions or any questions and subscribe for more content like this. Also, shoot me a follow on my social media pages on the screen. It's the best way to connect with me, and I'd really appreciate it. Peace.